You're listening to WKGE 109.5 FM, Philadelphia. The smoothest sound across all the airways. Live from the Sliding Door Studio, the following is a special edition of WKGE-FM News. Here's our lead anchor, Dickie Dickie Boldenash. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to WKGE-FM News. As you know, we occasionally dip into the community, and we have a special segment we call Hood News Now. And... As you can see, it's one of our favorite segments among the staff and crew. And we want to send a special shout out to our colleague and Hood News Now former reporter, Peter Peckerneck, who's still recovering and in, as I understand, a stable condition from his last report down in the hood. And with that, we'd like to welcome our new Hood News Now correspondent, fresh from broadcast school, Mr. Justin Case. Hey, Justin, what's good in the hood? Thanks, Dickie. Well, as you can tell, we just arrived here on location here at 54th and 5th, and, uh, I heard you in your opening intro there, Dickie. You're giving props to our colleague, uh, Peter Peckerneck. Hey, Pete, I uh, just want to say, I, uh, I, well, I can understand why you were scared, but you hang in there, buddy, and you'll be back on the beat in no time. I also want to remind and assure our listeners, especially my mom, that we're keeping 911 number one on our speed dial just in case. This week's feature on Hood News Now is the new Jack Jamaican Chinese American restaurant, bar, grill, pizzeria, daycare, hair salon, and hoopty repair shop. Yes, I got it right. And we're going to be talking toward their owner, uh, uh, Mr. Mi Suk Su, and he's going to give us a guided tour. And um, I think I see Mr. Su over there. Hold on, let's go see. Mr. Sue, hey, Ed, just in case, the WKGE Hood News Now, how are you? So very nice to meet you. Uh, I just got to do a story here about this fantastic building that you have here. I guess it's considered a pillar of the community. Have you ever uh, considered changing or maybe shortening the name of this establishment? I mean, it's, uh, it's quite a mouthful when you try to say the new jacket. Oh, no. You have to say a whole name. New Jack Jamaica Chinese American Restaurant Bar Grill Daycare Hair Salon and the Hoopty Repair Shop. You have to say her name like a like a tribal quest and you have to say everything. As you can plainly see, we are not uh, your uh, average uh, puppy store. Hey, let's start right here at our uh, daycare and a hair salon. Our staff is certified number one for the week's uh, extensions. Uh, custom paint jobs, haircuts, the shape ups, uh, the mani pedi, the pedi mani, uh, and uh, of course our famous uh, protein faces. Wow, that's truly unbelievable. Oh, yes. Uh, we have an exclusive weave made from a Mongolian wombat. Only finest hair, better than the other place, uh, the nappy cuts. I should not say ma- nappy cuts. I call them other kind of other names, uh, nappy butts, sloppy cuts, uh, clappy sluts, uh, but that's what you call and you get your 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 fine grade official uh, hoochie horse hair and you uh, you see a horse hair girl walk around and she look terrible, terrible, but you come in here, you get exclusive wombat hair and no place else, only the finest. Well, apparently, uh, Mr. Sue, but the... 
There seems to be quite a commotion going on down there. I, I don't understand. What is it? Looks like a rival of Baby Babbles. Oh, did you say Baby Babbles? Oh, yeah. Uh, he a uh, star celebrity uh, this weekend. He called a 911 and saved his nanny from choking uh, some of uh, our famous uh, chitlin' egg rolls. He saved his uh, nanny from a choking on some of uh, our chitlin' egg rolls, and he called 911 just in time. I I'm sorry, sir, but is that music I hear people partying? Oh, yes, that, that would be a nightclub uh, in a restaurant, bar, and grill down the hall. But come on, we had to pass it on the way to Jamaican Jerker Joint. Today's special, a uh, mouth watering the Jamaican Jerker Juice. I just want to sip it and make a mouth water, your eyes water, your toes a curl, everything. But it's good for the arthritis, rheumatism, the shingles, and all kind of athletes' feet. Here, let me give you a sample. Hey, that's that's not bad. It's actually quite good. <coughs> mm, thank you. <laughs> but, hey. It's even clearing up my nasal passages. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Uh -uh. mm, mm, what's that I smell? Mmm. Ah, that, uh, that ought to be a Jamaican kush. That's, that's a good for the glaucoma, insomnia, anxiety, uh, uh, the PTSD, and uh, it goes down real smooth. Well, thank you. That's that's quite a treat there. I I'm getting word from our studio that we have to go to a commercial rhythm break. So, uh, we'll, we'll be right back right after this refreshing break. And it's brought to you by our number one sponsor, Good and Fresh Toothpaste. Because some people just can't smell what's right under their nose. You're listening to WKGE 109.5 FM, Philadelphia. The smoothest sound across all the airways. Good morning from Hood News Now. I'm just in case. And as a reminder, we keep 911 on speed dial just in case. Reporting live from the New Jack Jamaican Chinese American Restaurant, Bar, Grill, Daycare, Hair Salon, and <sighs> Hoopty Repair Shop. Right before the break, we enjoyed a tasty drink known as Jamaican Jerk Juice. And I have to tell you, I do believe Mr. Sue slipped the Dominican dip into my drink because I can't tell you the last time I had such an enlightening beverage. It even cleared my nasal passages. I'm smelling things that haven't even grown yet. We just got word from our undercover brother reporting from the Smoking Joe Frazier Gymnasium at Cooley High School here on the west side. Hood News Now correspondent Kid Savage is coming to us live from the hallways. Hey Kid Savage, what's good in the hood? 
Thanks, Justin. We are live in the hallway where you're about to see Tanisha and Keisha go at it all over Lil John John. Uh, is that Lil John John hiding in the hallway? Let's go talk to him. See why there's beef cooking in the hallway. What's up, Lil John John? What's up, hey? Uh, you tell me your girl's about to fight some other girl. Oh How man, that's just a long story, man. It's a long story. Hey, what's up, kid? What's going on? I see a big crowd coming down, coming out the cafeteria, man. Better go follow up. Yeah, I gotta get up there, but I get backwards. We're headed up to the Smoking Joe Frazier gym. It's a big crowd following Tanisha and Keisha down to the Smoking Joe Frazier boxing ring in the gym. They're starting to take off their jewelry. They're starting to take off their rings, their earrings, their necklace, and the bracelets, and their shoes. They're starting to take off their fingernails. Yeah, yeah, Justin, I think they are taking off their fingernails. Oh, uh, snap. Tanisha's hair is starting to fly out like snakes. Keisha is starting to serve Tanisha that, that left hook like I hop hot pancake. Uh oh, here comes the security. Smooth heads Johnny. Hey, well, hey, kid. Well, that's quite a name there. Sm she do say smooth head Johnny? We call him that because of the fact that his head, the back of his head is so smooth. Keisha won the fight. Back to you, Justin. Alright, well, you, you be careful out there and, uh, just as a reminder, we do keep 911 on speed dial, just, just in case. case. We'll get back to Kid Savage reporting on the big fight over at the Smoking Joe Frazier Gymnasium at Cooley High School. I'm Just In Case, reporting live from the new Jack Jamaican Chinese American restaurant, bar, grill, daycare, hair salon, and the repair shop reporting live here with one of the owners Mr. Mi Suk Su who's been giving us a guided tour of this facility which I have to tell you is really a, a hive of activity we're going to be making our way back to the hoop the repair shop and uh well how do you explain everyone's in such a good mood well we try to keep everybody happy here and our philosophy is it's employee is happy where he kind of work that uh, he make a, a customer happy and uh, uh, the customer happy they tell a friend and a friend come everybody here is, is just happy to be here you know that's why when you come to any of our establishments you get treated like you are a family member it sounds like something's going on over here, over here at the daycare. Let's, we have to go over here and see. Maybe Baby Babbles, yes. Baby Babbles is is here. And did you, did you say Baby Babbles? You think we could get a word from him? I mean, he, he is we're like a real hero. Well, we try not to bring a lot of attention to the babies in the daycare because uh you know it's not good to have a routine they do things at the same time in every way same day so we try not to have a whole lot of attention and noise from coming but we'll see it's already a lot of people here we'll see what he say oh that would be great i'd love to just just talk to him and just ask him one question, maybe two. Oh, look how cute he is. He's so cute. Hey, baby bear. What was it like, really, when you pulled that egg roll out of your nanny's throat? Chitlin is an egg. Oh, wow. Just right out of there. And then had the foresight to call 911. When I kids, they really know how to work cell phones, don't they? I think now would be a good time to remind our listeners, especially my mom, hey, that we do keep 911 on speed dial. Just in case. Hey, yo, mom. Hey, Bob. Hey, come on. Can I talk to you for a minute, man? Can I, can I talk to you for a minute? Hey, look. Listen, man. I, I'm going to have to leave for a couple of days because, uh, you know, the streets are hot right now. And they say Johnny Boo Boo Jackson just got out and he might be coming back to start up some things. So, you know, I got to be ready for whatever might happen. Now I don't want it to happen here on my job. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take a couple days sick leave and I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? You have to be very careful. So, but you do what you got to do. And yeah, when you, I appreciate Bob, you be careful out there, man. Oh, no. No worries. I really pop a cap in the ass anytime. 
All right, man. Well, look, I'm gonna get back with you. All right, y'all be thanks for me. Ain't that a real game? He's a good walker, but uh, you know, sometimes when the streets get hot, I had to understand because you know, we stay in the hood up here on 54 and 5th, and anything happens when we step outside the front door. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, we're live. This is a live broadcast, and as you know, when you go live, anything can happen, and we just overheard heard of the inadvertent conversation that might have involved some weaponry. WKGE FM News Hood News Now is on the scene when it's hot. We're making our way back to the Hoofty Repair Shop area and as I understand it, it's, it's outside so before we do that we want to welcome our new sponsor Coco's Cafe. Good seats, good eats, and good beats. Come down and see the house band, Coco Smooth and the Midnight Brownies. And this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're featuring a brand new band from out of town. Come on out and see Pink Eye and the Crooked Eyelash. You're listening to WKGE 109.5 FM, Philadelphia. The smoothest sound across all the airways. It's good to finally be home. Welcome back to WKGEFM News. I'm Justin Case down at the New Jack Jamaican Chinese American Restaurant Bar Grill, Daycare Hair Salon, and Hoopty Repair Shop. We're making our way through the building down into the back. We're here with Mr. Misa Su and Mr. Sue, I just want to thank you for having this guided tour that you're taking us on in this marvelous facility. You're, you're very welcome. I see we're making our way through the hallways here and we're going to be going back to the, the Hoopty Repair Shop. I just got to say that this place is really, really big. It's a huge facility. I just keep going different places and opening doors and wow, it's just amazing. As you can see. We have a very state-of-the-art uh, mechanical uh, machine. Oh, this place is really clean, too. Uh, yes, we, uh, we stress safety and cleanliness because the customer come and they appreciate a service uh, always with a smile. And also, we are very, very good. We have uh, a pit crew that come in we have our regular mechanics and then we have our pit crew over here uh, I see that they uh, started to work on the, the race car the race car go around the track a few times and they check it out everything of it looking good uh, sounded good and feeling good uh, and uh, they go and uh, sometimes the, you know kids come and they watch the car go around and they have a, such a good time. They'll be going around the track. It sounds like they're uh, ready to go. And uh, they go around sometimes uh, three or four times. Uh, and kids come and they watch the car. They get excited, you know what I mean? And, and then the driver come around and he, he play with kids. He tell kids how, how their car work. There seems to be a lot of birds other than crows over there. So we are... Uh, we have a pet zoo over in the corner. It's way on the corner because, you know, a lot of animals over there, uh, they need a lot of room. But, uh, you know, kids come and uh, they ride horses. And, uh, they ride Ellie, elephant. And Ellie has two kids, you know, the baby elephants, uh, uh, Sarah and Billy. And uh, they come and they have a good time. You know, we always have good time here. At New Jack Jamaican Chinese American Restaurant Bar Grill Daycare Hair Salon and Hoopy Repair. <laughs> 
Yeah. Everybody come here, have a good time. They play all the horses. Uh, we got a monkeys over there. I think the exotic birds over there. Wow, that's just amazing. It's, it's the regular zoo right here. Well, the kids come and you know they don't want to pet the tiger. Uh, the tiger, you know, be here over here. But the horses, uh, do know to watch out. I think it's just amazing how we went from a racetrack down here into the tropical zoo. I mean, it's just fabulous how you do this. Uh, uh, well, I tell you what, is that a tiger over there? Oh, yes, sir. We have a Siberian tiger. He been with us uh, for many years. Uh, they call him Tony. The kids love come watching. They, they don't get too close because, you know, Tony be kind of grumpy sometimes. He don't get a frosted flakes. He get you mad. <laughs> I, I really need to ask you to, uh, about that rooster. He really sounds confused. Well, what happened is that uh, one of the rooster crow. We had another rooster on the other side. It crow back, and you know it's how the rooster talk. And you hear the females a little different. I think it's just the chicken. I don't know how, but. Yeah, I'll have to remind Dickie back in the studio and the rest of the gang that I bet you never thought Hood News Now would be here in the zoo. Interesting, huh? Also, I think now would be another appropriate time to remind our listeners, especially my mom, that we still have 911 on speed dial. Just in case. Just in case. I understand you're a bit nervous. Uh, you see uh, a helicopter they flying down and Popo always spy on us. And they look at the zoo, the animal, make sure, you know, they treat it, be treated good. I know you're scared that uh, everything, uh, you know, tigers, uh, but uh, you don't be scared. You know, we in the hood, but uh, up here, 54 and 5th, we take care of everybody. And it don't matter who you are. See, no problem. Everybody's chill. But, well, sir, you see, I just have never, it's so overwhelming. I mean, we were just inside, and now we come through the Hoopty Repair Shop, and we're outside, and there's a big speed racing track with the cars, and next thing you know, we're, we're in a virtual safari, and it's just a little overwhelming, and there goes that, that booster again, I just, sir, I tell you. It's nothing like anything I've ever grown up with. You'll forgive me, but it's just amazing. I would have never thought that such a place could exist. I can't wait to tell my friends about all of these things, and we're gonna come on down, and, and it looks like there's some, some more things going on over there. The, they're, they're playing drums and dancing and things. We have on Tuesdays uh, what we call a community a drum circle. Uh, everybody come and play drums and have a dance contest and it's very, very special. Only on a Tuesday that all everybody come. As you can see, everybody come. Once again, have a good time here at New Jack Jamaican Chinese American Restaurant, Bar Grill, Daycare, Hair Salon, and Hoop Day Repair Shop. We go back inside. I take you to employee lounge. Uh, we see uh, employees lounging. Uh, I show you a new a roller coaster. It's the only roller coaster in the world for the employees in the employee lounge. Oh, that sounds great. I'm getting word from the studio. We're about to go into another commercial rhythm break. It's brought to us by our number one sponsor, Good and Fresh Tooth. Pace. Turn your dragon breath into bragging breath with Good and Fresh. You're listening to WKGE. 109.5 FM, Philadelphia. The smoothest sound across all the airways.
just gotta love those smooth beats coming from WKGE FM 109.5, where you'll always find the smoothest sounds across all the airwaves. I'm Justin Cates, reporting live for Hood News Now, here at the New Jack Jamaican Chinese American Restaurant, Bar, Grill, Daycare, Hair Salon, and the repair shop. We just left the shop. We're on our way now to the employee lounge. And I gotta tell you, Dickie, this place is just fascinating. Every time I turn around, there's something new and exciting and special. So special about this place. I tell you, I'll probably visit this side of town again. Well, we are very happy to have you here at... We are glad you enjoy your stay with us in the tour. Everybody happy to see you. As you can see, all the smiling faces, the kids are happy. And now we're going to go to the employee lounge. And we see some of our employees, how they spend their time lounging. Uh, wow, over really here nice we have a there. couple of pool tables, uh, they play the ping pong over here, and they really serious about the ping pong, so don't get it away. Uh, right here we have a daily card game, every time I come here, a table full of people play cards, have a good time, you know, relaxing, and just chill. Over here like a, a mini casino, we throw the dice on the table. I know gamble, I know gamble, but all the people come over here have fun. And we're going here as they play the basketball, always a game they play, it's always a waiting game. Do you play? Jeez, I don't know, Mr. Sue, I haven't played basketball in years. I like watching it though, these guys seem to be pretty good. Oh yeah, very, very competitive uh, players here. Uh, they come and with no, no, no rookie allowed. Where's all the screaming coming from? Oh, now we have to go downstairs and I show you our new roller coaster. It's the only roller coaster in the world. It's made for just the employees in, in, in our employee lounge. I just don't believe my eyes. Dicky, I, I wish you could see this. You can hear the people, they, they're having fun, that's for sure. But it's an actual roller coaster. I mean, it's not huge, but it's not supposed to be in a building on the corner of 54th and 5th. I want to thank you guys back at the studio for sending me out here on my first assignment. We've had such a great time. I mean, we went to the daycare and we went to the hair salon. Uh, we had some Jamaican jerk juice that I think I still can feel. Oh my goodness. And we got our report from Kid Savage down at Cooley High School in the Smoking Joe Frazier Gymnasium and Sports Complex where we witnessed Tisha kick Tanisha's ass all over the ring. It's been a fabulous day and I just want to thank you and thank all our listeners, especially my mom, for tuning in to Hood News Now, WKGEFN News. Hey Dickie, back to you. You're listening to the smoothest sound across all the airways. WKGE. 109.5 FM, Philadelphia.